A temporary stay of Governor Kate Brown's 180-day ban on flavored nicotine vaping products could be made permanent pending a judge's final ruling in the case. Find out more on this edition of Industry Insider. Hello and welcome to another edition of Industry Insider. The order by Commissioner Teresa M. Kidd came down last week in two cases against Oregon Health Authority regarding the ban, one of which is being argued by the Canby law firm Tyler Smith & Associates. Ryan Adams, a partner in the aforementioned firm, received a temporary stay last month in response to an emergency petition. Commissioner Kidd issued her order granting the permanent stay after reviewing the arguments by the Smith firm on behalf of the client, Paul Bates, owner of Division Vapor Vape Shop in Portland, as well as those of the attorneys representing Governor Brown and the OHA. Although a final ruling has not been made in the case, and we aren't quite sure when this is supposed to happen, the order did express Kidd's belief that the vape shop owners were, quote, likely to prevail in the case. Petitioners had initially argued, and kids seemed to agree, that the ban, if enacted, would have consequences far beyond just vaping, and that it would, in fact, give OHA almost unlimited power to ban products. It now appears very unlikely that Governor Brown's ban on flavored and vaping nicotine products will go forward. The only way that it could is if the court rules in the state's favor before February, when the order is scheduled to expire anyway. With so many states blocking emergency flavor bans and Trump backing off of federal bans, do you think that state representatives will continue attempting these actions? Please share your thoughts with us down below, and as always, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell button to keep up to date with all of our Fight for Flavors content. This has been Nick with Industry Insider, and we'll see you next time.